You can also customize all the fonts and font headings uh, within here as well. So I'm just going to show you some of that now. So here's just a standard page that I just built. And just a few things first, actually. So the first thing you can do is customize some of the content here. So I'll go to content and content elements. So uh, by default, uh, Storefront will have these accessibility boxes around elements. You see when I click on the logo, how we've got this box. So if you want to hide those, you just get this checkbox here. Uh, let's go back to this food page. Now I'll just turn that off for that. Uh, but you can also do things like hide your breadcrumbs. So you see these breadcrumbs here. Uh, if you want to hide those on your pages, just click that, like so. Uh, you can also, should you want to, you can hide your page titles as well. And you see how the page title's just gone from there. So I'm going to turn that back on, back, back on because I just want to show you how you can customize the fonts. So in typography here, this is where you can change all your font styles. So uh, let's start with the heading font, which is this one here. And let's just change this font so you see it change in real time. So you'll see, I've just changed that to Lustrium. And you can change the text size. And you can also change uh, the letter spacing within these as well. So there you go, see how it's getting bigger, the letter spacing. And the line height, you can also make them up a case should you want to, or just transform them into, into a case. Uh, so tons and tons of options in terms of changing this. Um, so the other thing, you can change the heading colors as well, obviously, in here, like so. Um, and you see how the, the colors change there. You could, can also change all the font colors as well here, that these uh, fonts. So let me just change this to uh, just a random font here. So you've got tons of, tons of font choices, so you see them changing real time. Any second now. There we go, that's a pretty extreme one, but you can change the text size again on this. And you just get these real time previews of them changing. Again, you can change the text color. You can also change your link colors within here as well. So uh, these are all the fonts you get. So you get all the standard fonts of your headings. Uh, but you also get all these huge range of Google fonts as well, which is an online font library. So they're guaranteed to work across devices. Uh, so loads and loads of controls in terms of changing the look and the feel of all your typography on your site.